What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly Tokyo Ghoul Re chapter video on chapter 100 titled The Red Hands. Now, before I even begin on doing this video, I just want to take a few moments to say congratulations, Ashita Sensei. You have reached chapter 100. <sighs> Can we all just take a moment to appreciate that? I mean, 100 chapters, 100 tragic chapters of Tokyo Ghoul. Mm. I'm so glad, I'm so glad Ashita continues to write such a glorious manga. Thank you, Ashita. Thank you. Thank you very much for constantly writing such a good quality series that I can read every week and have fun with. Truly, truly means a lot. So, yeah. Congratulations, Ashita, for the big 100. So, with that, let me click on this chapter and let us start. So, we have a color page. And so becomes... Wait, well, and so the boy becomes a nameless king. Hmm. If I didn't know any better, I would say Ashita's trying to reference my, my boy nameless king from Dark Souls. But, anyways, this color page. Ooh, I like what Ashita did to uh, the re part of it. You know, the, uh, the the checker pattern. I like that. I like that style with the E. Good man, Ashita. Like the, uh, I, seriously, I mean, I know the epic. Yes, I, I like the drawing and all, but I just, for some reason, I like this E. I really like it. Most likely... This is going to be fun, though. I, I might edit it a little bit or something, do something with it. But most likely, this is going to be fun, though. It looks brilliant, though. So I'm assuming this is, you know, the celebration, the picture to celebrate Chapter 100 of Tokyo Ghoul Re. I like it. I like it. Oh, I just noticed the two O's or all these circles, actually, in Tokyo Ghoul have something wrong with them. Like, here, let me look at this real quick. Like, oh, I can't scroll on anymore. If you look at the, uh, in Tokyo, if you look at the two O's, the first O is solid black. And then the one on the right after, you know, the Y, it has color in it, like a purplish blue. And when you go down to Ghoul, the Ghoul part, the circle in, you know, the G, it's completely solid black. But then if you look at, you know, the O in Ghoul, you see, like, a greenish type black, like a bluish green type, you know, look to it. So, huh. Hmm. I wonder if she was trying to uh, do something with that. But regardless, though, very fucking amazing looking illustration by Ashida. Good job. Ashida amazes me with how he can do something like this. I mean, you gotta realize, this man writes these chapters weekly. And it's not just a traditional writing of a chapter. This is a man, Ashida, that puts so much thought into his plot, his characters, and just the where he's gonna take his story with the foreshadowing and all that, and somehow this man still manages to do something as beautiful as this. I mean, this... I wanna tell you, I'm not no artist. I don't make art. I'm, I'm not a good drawer or anything. But I can say this, however. I know for a fact that this man, Ashita, probably put a lot of hours into just drawing this alone. So, just amazes me how much talent this man has. So anyways, let's begin the chapter. Let, let's get right into it. I'm very curious. Many of you said that I have something very crazy to expect in this chapter, so let us see what's going on. Okay, page three. A stronghold enveloped in silence. What exactly will their new plan against the ghouls? Okay, so I'm assuming this chapter is kind of the reflection of what last week's chapter was. As we saw, we saw Kaneki's side, the aftermath after, you know, what happened in the prison in Rue Island. I'm assuming this is, you know, the CCG side, what the human side is doing. For instance, what the Washu King is doing, so to say. I'm assuming that's what this chapter is going to be about. Okay, so a stronghold enveloped in silence. What exactly would their new plan against the ghouls be? First Ward CCG Headquarters. The Red Hands, Chapter 100. Oh, my boy Ure looking, uh, looking fine in that fucking suit. Okay, special class meeting room. Oh, he's sitting outside. He's not sitting inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ure's not, but he's sitting outside the doors looking at it. Damn, their faces look grim as fuck. Dude, what the fuck is in that face of... Like, yo, Matsuri's face like... 
<laughs> what is with that face? Like, holy shit, they're at this, like, table. Yeah, and you, you see who you do all that? You see Mogan, and when you see fucking Isuzia, and then you look at fucking Matsuri, this man's like, like this man is about to hurl. <laughs> uh, let me go down. Whoa, what the? Okay, I was just laughing at this man. <laughs> okay, let, let me. I, I might show this picture on screen. But what is with this face? Page four, bottom right panel. What is with that face of Matsuri? This man looks like he is dead as fuck. Like, th this man is coming off of it being drunk. Like, he's hungover. Like, damn, this man looks like he's fucking dead. Like, he he's all haggard. His cheeks have sunken in. I mean, damn. This man has straight up seen better days. Like, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Matsuri, but holy hell, this man looks like he has seen better days. Like, shit. You think he'd be happy, you know, after everything. I mean, his father, you know. Uh, well, we did find out he he loves his father. He's connected to him, even though... Yeah, it, it, his entire backstory is very complicated. So, anyways. Susie eating. Right, classy Susie. Um, and how's uh, Miss Kyoko? Oh, okay, so Kyoko. So, she survived. Hmm. It seems she's still not feeling very well, and what are we going to do about that? What is that? What are you trying to say? What is that? That. Damn, Matsuri looks really fucking drunk, dude. Like, seriously, did this man come to this meeting drunk? Like, was this man like, like, hey guys, I'm a little bit drunk. I'm coming to this big special meeting to talk about shit at CCG. I'm drunk, though. Like, what What the hell? This this man looks really drunk, the way his hair is and all that. Okay, that. The chairman's. The chairman's. Oh, his last will and testament. Chairman's last will and testament, what? Following the death of Chairman Sunyoshi Washu, which Verita caused, a recommendation letter in his hand written, uh, his handwriting was found in his desk. A recommendation letter in his hand. What, what was the recommendation? I nominate Sota Verita of the Washu branch family to the position of the next... Susuna Yoshi? Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, 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 me, let me process what I am reading here right now. So you're telling me at the crime scene of Susuna Yoshi's death, okay? They checked inside of his desk, and there was a handwritten letter, his last will and testament, which stated Furuta, or Sota Furuta, of the Washu branch, needs to be the next leader of CCG. Now, let's think about how this is really fucked, okay? For one, we know for to kill Tsunayoshi, okay? Well, we know this man just straight up slit that man's throat. And obviously, since he's going to be the new king, the Washu king, he probably put that will and testament in his desk, probably to, you know, say, like, I will be the next in charge. So, Furuta did that purposely, and he did it somehow in his handwriting, which I'm very curious about. Like, how did he make this man do it in his own handwriting unless he grabbed his fucking hand and started doodling on the freaking paper with it, which I highly doubt. So, however, Furuta did it, he made Tsunayoshi write that Furuta should be the next lead, like the lead of CCG. Now, the big question, though, or the most fucked up part about this, actually, is that we gotta think about Matsuri's position. Matsuri is a type of man that wants power. He wants to be the next leader. That's something that's drove his character since the beginning, and he's done some inhuman shit throughout the series because of his will and what he wants. For instance, his promotion. And now seeing how this man had his promotion pretty much snatched from him, I now think I kind of understand why this man's all haggard now. Like, I understand now why this man is all drunk looking. Why? Because, I mean, is, you know, Tsunayoshi just comes up, it's like, hey, you know, Furuta's gonna be the, you know, the next in charge. You're not. Fuck you, Matsuri. And Matsuri's like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm not getting my promotion, and then Tsunayoshi dies, so I think I understand now why this man Matsuri looks drunk as fuck. Okay, right, let me continue on. And have yet to reach it. Wait, well, to the position of the next guy. And we have yet. Okay, so they've yet to reach a position. I'm assuming this this meeting is for that. Furuta is that sort of dull rank one investigator who served under Associate Special Class Kijima, right? Huh. There are quite a few problems in nominating 
to the post of the chief, an investigator with no real achievements to his name, Deputy Chief. So pretty much saying he has no real achievements and his qualifications are just not there. He shouldn't be promoted to the to lead CCG because he just has no qualifications for it. I mean, it's like trying to say you're going to hire someone without like their degree in college, like a certain degree, when they need to have that degree to be able to, you know, be hired. So that's kind of what they're saying. He doesn't have any of his qualifications to be the lead, even though he was nominated by Suniyoshi. Ideally, the firstborn Matsuri, who is both a special class and has quite the list of accomplishments to his name, would take up his father's man- wait, whoa, whoa. Ideally, the firstborn Matsuri, who is both a special class and has quite the list of accomplishments to his name, would take up his father's mantle. Okay, so they're saying pretty much it should be Matsuri that should be the next in line. We can't exactly ignore the weight of the wishes expressed in what is most likely the former chairman's last will and testament. I mean, we can't be sure exactly what he intended to achieve, through this nomination, but shouldering the responsibilities of CCG might be a bit too much of a burn for Matsuri as he is now. That man looks so fucking drunk! <laughs> this man, like, I, I just can't imagine this is that cold, stern character in Matsuri Washu that I was hating on many chapters ago, like 20 to 30 chapters back. I just can't even begin to imagine this is the same exact character. This man looks like he has seen like some deep shit, like he has seen hell itself. Okay, I'm sorry I'm so late. Oh, Veronica. I got caught up in trying to respond to all the reporters and whatnot. That man doing that, like that hand V type shit again. Okay, to respond to the reporters and whatnot. They've got me running around like a chicken without a head. With, what with all the talk of investigator led bra breach. So he's here. You should leave things like that to the clerks and deputies, rank 1 Furuta. I'm sorry. Nimura Furuta, also known as Sota Furuta Washu. There is a reason this man at A rank 1 investigator is participating in the special class meeting. Aside from the time that he was serving under associate special class Kijima, we know next to nothing about his line of hmm. experience. So they know next to nothing about this man. They don't really know how he is. And obviously, Furta, the way he's acting throughout this, you know, part right here, he's acting. I mean, Furta, he's a gifted actor. We, we've seen this man, how he, you know, displays himself with Kaneki, Eto, and other characters. So this man, natural actor. The way he's putting on this front here and saying how he was busy or whatever, we know he was just doing other shit. He just didn't give a shit. Or he's planning something. Just putting on a face. Even if the task of selecting the next chief were to actually fall to this council, the reason we have Furuta participating is primarily because we need to learn more about him. So before they even decide to nominate him, they need to know more about him. So it's kind of already set in stone that he might be the next in line. He, he is the one to be nominated because Matsuri is in no condition with it, the way he's displayed himself clearly in this chapter. Everybody can easily see it, not just me or you guys. So... It's looking like it's going to fall upon, uh, Verta. Okay, honestly, I'm quite surprised the Washi family had branch families. Rank 1 Verta. Did any of the actions of Haize Sasuke ever strike you as unusual? Oh, they're questioning. Oh, yeah, Verta worked with Haize, didn't he, for a, w a bit? Yeah, he did. I was going to obviously have suspicion on him. After all, you were part- See? After all, you were partnered with him for a time, No. I suppose she's special class Sasaki. What? Well, do not call him that. He is no longer an investigator. Right, my apologies. Special wanted criminal HS. Okay, Haize Sasaki HS. Was, well, during the time we were chasing after Takasuki, he would frequently engage in... Is he framing... Unauthorized home investigations? Or oppressive interrogation... But my boy, you did that too with him. I mean, we know this is Furta. This man's gonna make, you know, Kaneki look like shit. We know for a fact he is, but my boy, you were being that slime just alongside the Kaneki. That death face. I'll never forget that final, that final, like, panel scene of a chapter to where Kaneki was smiling like the devil and so was Furta. They were both giving this, like, death look to this poor guy. I'll never forget those faces. And that's ingrained into my mind. So this man saying just caught it out and just like, yo, my boy, you, you have an evil side to yourself as well. Like, geez. You may be able to fool them, you may be a good actor, you can't fool me. 
He did many things that ought to have promoted me to question his sense of right and wrong. However, I simply took those actions to be proof of the fact that he held a rather remarkably strong attachment to the outcome of his investigations. Huh, a little bit of sweat popping up on the side of his cheek. Hmm. And yet, why? How did things turn out this way? Special Class Washu. We've lost all trace of him. Given that he's made himself as the one-eyed king, it's quite possible that the surviving Ogiri tree ghouls and whatnot will join his side. I see. Man, Matsuri's not really acting commanding at all. That's... That's... Wow. Dude, this personality of this man is completely broken. Matsuri would be very absurdive and shit, but this man is just saying, like, I see, yes, all that type of shit. Damn. I actually kind of feel bad for this man. I I'm not even joking. I kind of feel bad for Monterey right now. This man, the way he's... He just says, I see, do you? Like, that, like damn, you, you can see that this man, he just he doesn't give a shit. God. All right. Be it Monterey or Furuta, the days of the Washi family are numbered. Oh? Ooh, he's thinking of something pretty mean. In fact, all the CCGs are... Oh, they're saying CCG's life is... Coming to an end, oh. Hmm. Special class Kuro Iwa. Hmm? Masato Ito Takiyomi. We must do whatever it is we can. The good CCG agents have been fighting for just reasons in their own way. Even though we know CCG is kind of false the way it was built. Mr. Ui. Ah, uh, Ito. What, what is it? Have you heard anything from Take? No. I see. I mean, Taki was the kind of person whose thoughts are virtually inscrutable. I thought he believed in me. I just can't believe he's become a special wanted criminal. Oh. Ito is having... Oh, my. If we remember how Ito lives and all that, and someone that, you know, he fought that believed in him would, you know, kind of become a criminal. He doesn't know what to believe. I mean, it's like your idol being a hero the entire, your entire life, and then all of a sudden he becomes like a criminal, an evil person that everybody hates. That's kind of what's going on right now, and Ito's thoughts right here, it just, it, you really, it's kind of sad when you see how he describes it. Like, even so, I thought he believed in me, and the way, he, you know, he became a criminal. Damn, I actually feel bad for Ito right now. That's some uh, interesting development that might lead into. And to think that he went and did that without saying a word to you, Mr. Ui. And Heisei too. I can't believe that he would be so eager to bite the hand that fed him. I'm assuming you're talking about Arima. Ito, it is true that I am more knowledgeable about former investigator Hiroko than you. What's done is done. You would do well to let go of whatever personal feelings you hold towards the situation. So pretty much keep your personal feelings and business separate. Don't don't have those side by side. Or you may just end up losing the things most important to you. Hmm. But two of them betrayed us, the CCG, without so much as a word of forewarning. That's all there is to it. More most important things. Once again, more foots, uh, feet being, yeah, foots, what, what the fuck, more feet being showcased in a panel. She always loves to emphasize certain emotions when you see a panel focused on someone walking. It's always a big thing I've noticed with the Sheeta, it's the style he does. Most important things, what things? The teacher I've respected, which is, that's sad, dead. The superiors I fought understood me, Take. I'm, I'm, wow, Ui's making me sad. The colleges I, uh, the co colleges, the colleagues I helped along every step of the way. The successors I saw try their best to bridge the gap between. Am I seeing how Ui cared about Sasaki? I didn't think Ui cared about Sasaki. Wow, that honestly surprises me. To show that type of emotion to Saucy, the successors I saw try their best to bridge the gap between us. Damn, nice development for this man. He's lost a lot when you really think about it. I've lost him all, haven't I? 
Why do you fight, Kuri Ui? I, I feel bad for this man. Wow, it's kind of sad, actually. I mean, you look at Matsuri in this chapter. Matsuri showcased that he's he's really fucked right now. But Ui, that you know, seemed to be very strong in this chapter. He, he's probably one of the most broken out of all of them in that room because I mean, he's lost a lot. He's lost a close friend. He's lost teachers. He's lost his successors, his superiors. Just damn. I feel bad. I really feel bad for this man actually now. Susia. Oh, are we at... Huh. Shinohara. Suzia, what do you think about the One-Eyed King? I thought he was going to become a special class or something. Instead, he went and became a king. Oh, I'm curious on the thoughts of Suzia. How does he think about this? I've been thinking about it for a while now. If Haise were to become an enemy... Ever since that day, well, I made enemies of a lot of pretty dangerous ghouls. And I have no intention of losing to a single one of them. But when it comes to Haize, it seems like he'd really be strong. Oh shit, Suzy admitting Haize would be strong. Oh. Can you kill him? Hey, watch him. Haize is my friend. Am I seeing character development? Am I seeing fucking yo? Am I seeing fucking character development? That's fucking yo. He's always get he's always he'd always give me snacks and stuff. He even made me a delicious pudding on my br He made friends with my squad members. He is one of the very few people in the CCG that looks at me without hatred or disgust in his eyes. But Oh, what's this but? It's all already been decided, hasn't it? That I must secede in the steps of Mr. Shinohara. That is an order to the important... There, there is an order to the important things in life. I think I know what this panel represents. You see the black shade to his hair and the white? It's not saying that his hair is going white. I think what this represents is that, you know, it's kind of like... It's gray. He's gray right now. He doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know what path to choose he, he's conflicted right now he doesn't know if he should go with you know the orders and live up to the standards of shinohara what he believed in or should he try to protect his friend haize sasuke and not fight him and i mean with him just saying friend and it's saying he's one of the very few people that didn't show me hatred or disgust when he looked at me it shows you how much development suzia has gotten but on top of that though for him to even say something like this in a way in the way he expresses himself Jesus, th th this man, he he's at that point right now with his life, he doesn't know, should he abandon what he knows because of Shinohara and uphold the CCG, or should he move and try to respect whatever decision his friend made, Haize Sasaki? I mean, I'm going to assume that if Suzuya found out the truth about CCG, he'd be pretty damn fucking pissed off, and he'll probably side with Kaneki and probably help out Shinohara the best he can. But right now, though, I feel like Suzia is conflicted. He doesn't know what path to choose because Shinohara means so much to him and what he, you know, he, his goal was, you know, what Shinohara stood for. And that's kind of what drove Suzia to change so much as he is now. But now seeing how Haize Sasuke, he was a friend, he respected him, helped him on his birthday, different things like that, he doesn't know. Because this, this shows great development for this character because, I mean, in the past, if you go back to Kuro and Shiro, Suzia, he, he cut them down. He didn't give any shits at all. They were ghouls. They were his enemy. He didn't care. He just, he killed them. He, he, would, he would kill them right then and there. He didn't care at all. Which showcased how different he has gotten since that time. He won't kill someone even if he's you know, their friend. Like, he's conflicted now. He might still go after them, still try to kill them. But he won't do it in a savage way to where he shows no emotions. Like how he did against Kuro and Shiro. He has matured with age. So, well done, Susia. That, that maturity in your character. That maturity. Alright, you said it yourself once, didn't you? That you were my dog. Is it Mossery trying to pull some shit? Do you still feel the same way even now? Sasuke, do you have it in you to kill your former boss? Ure looking down at his feet. Huh. Special class. 
You don't, you don't need to believe in me. Just order me. That face of shock in Moxry's face. About the former chairman's recommendation letter. I beg your pardon and understanding in advance for expressing my opinions so frankly and rudely. But. Listen. Okay, he's not saying that in the open. He's just talking in his mind. Listen up. Rake one for a ticket can never be the chief of CCG. I'm serious. So, in his mind, he truly believes he shouldn't be. Regardless. Okay. You are the only person fit to lead the commission of counter ghouls. This is flattery. <laughs> oh my boy, Ure. He's doing that crusty shit in his mind. This is flattery. Oh my. What the hell? Lots of you. I haven't yet told anyone else, but here's what I've been thinking of doing. Oh, he has a plan. The Washu family ambush incident. We still don't know who exactly was behind it. Inside the, the brewery, it, it's, it seems that most think it to be at least brought about by HS, Heisei Sasuke. But I myself find this rank 1 Furuta character the most suspicious. Oh, Masri suspects Furuta. Please keep an eye on his activities. Understood. I'm counting on you, Ure. Could Furuta actually do something as huge as all that? So Masri just let slip to Ure that Furuta could have been the one to cause some shit behind the scenes. It shows you Masri isn't in the well state of mind for him to be saying something like that out in the open. Or unless he just truly trusts Ure that much. Which I doubt. I really doubt that. So, Ure now knows he can suspect Furuta. He's going to be watching him. Ure, whenever I'm with you, I can't help but just bear it all. I'll bear your thoughts. You're telling me, after a hundred chapters, after a hundred fucking chapters, after a You're telling me, this character, Matsuri Washi, he's gay. What? 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 Ure, I... This man straight up stripped. He fucking <laughs> yo, yo, my God, look at the top left panel of this page. He kicks his side of his fucking goal. Oh my God, this man just kicked his side of his fucking goal. This man straight up went in his birthday suit. I might love you. I don't ever, one character I didn't want to see, I didn't want to see this man's ass, okay? Like, oh, oh, I'm going to get carry on. I, yo, what? I, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I don't even know how to process everything going on in my mind right now about Matsuri and what he stands for. Just like, what? Let me carry on. There's no, there's nothing more useful than a weakened leader. I'll be making full use of you, special. Oh, that's fucked. That's fucked. This man's falling in love with you. That's fucked. The only one groveling like a dog will be you, Matsuri. Oh, dude, dude, it's crusty. This man, crusty. Ah, uh, Mutsuki. Yonabayashi. Time to start searching for him for real now. Oh, Sasuke Isaac. How is the progress coming? We've got Arochi and Hige 
uh, checking out all the places we can think of, but nothing, uh, nothing's coming out of it. What about you, Mutsuki? A coat today, I see. I'm always thinking that, is that a coat today, I see. Hmm. I did have a lead and investi and I investigated, but how do you read that? What's it gonna be? Read, Ray. Wait, what? I did have a lead and I investigated, but how do you read that? Ray? No, nah, it's gonna be re. Huh. Are we having a flashback to the cafe? I think Mutsuki knows where Kaneki is at. I did have a lead and I investigated. So investigated on the cafe. I've yet to hear any really useful information. That's what my nose Kagane is telling me. RC cells are crazy. Nose Kagane. I see. Coats are nice, I guess. The people that had the best chance of finding him are us. The ones who were by his side. The first generation QS. We'll find him, I promise. And then we'll... Uri. Did he really... The prison and killing Kishu Arima? True, he been acting differently recently and stuff. But I never thought he'd actually do anything bad. And... Yonabayashi. Oh, poor psycho. Oh, poor girl. I feel bad. Don't let your personal feelings get in the way. I understand this is hard for you. Oh, Uri says, I really do in his mind. But, oh, that's a big paragraph in his mind, too. Or not paragraph, you know, sentence. There isn't really anything we can do about this, is there? So he's questioning if there's anything he could do for Sasuke. We need to be the ones to do this. He's out of the car. Ure, he just keeps getting stronger, doesn't he? Sanpei had that thing with his aunt, Kyoko, happened, and he's pretty mad. The CCG has stopped using Sasaki's name. Muchan, is it just me, this gray feeling? Psycho. I believe in him. Oh, Mutsuki's saying I believe in him. Hmm. He's definitely got some kind of reason. I mean, he was so nice to us, wasn't he? I want you to tell me the truth. There's something you've been hiding from everyone, isn't there? Utsuki is shot. What? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. So you noticed that I'm that I'm a girl. Oh, well, we're getting right into this. Uri already knows, but Tori, first class. Oh, what? I'm sorry, Psycho. I'll be going. Oh, let's get going on a. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, Psycho. I'll be going now. I'm glad we got to talk. Uh, uh yeah. No, no, not that. Huh? Muchan, I could smell human blood on you. I've already realized you are a girl. He's been eating people. Well, we knew Mutsuki was crazy. Because of what happened with Torso and shit. And her parents. Oh, shit. So Mutsuki is eating human beings now, huh? Does that mean she's progressed into an actual ghoul and needs to eat? Mm. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. That's a lot of build-up right there. That That's interesting. Bonjo? What the fuck? Mo I didn't expect to see Bonjo in this chapter. Oh, Hinami! Oh! Hino, why don't you rest for a little? You haven't slept at all, have you? 
No, I'm actually a little scared I can't let her out of my sight. Scared that I might just vanish away as I sleep today. What? I never fixed one, you know. A human. Akira is unconscious. Can't even tell if I did uh, if what I did was right. Are you yourself okay, Hina? And this person's father, well, he, Hina. Well, we know. Well, we know what Mono did. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I guess this is why the crew always tells me I don't have any delicacy. Well, I don't. This person, she's important to brother. Oh. Sato waking up and sleeping in the corner. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about this for a second. Wait. Is that Kaneki on the bottom? That's how it is, Kaneki. Ah, uh, cicadas. Hmm? Associate Special Class. Here to kill me. Good evening, former Ferrita. <sighs> Yo! What? Yo, the two kings are meeting each other? The two kings are meeting each other. The black and white king. I like how Kaneki is just walking out in the middle of the street with Berta. And he's like, what's up? What's up, Berta? What's up? I know you're trying to hunt me. You're trying to kill my ass my throat and stuff. But, you know, I'd like to have a conversation. Okay. I'm going to assume this is going to be the war declaration. For instance, Kaneki and Ferts are going to have a conversation. They're probably going to talk. They're going to have their war declaration. Or Ferts is going to do some crusty shit. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But most likely, Kaneki's trying to fill out what type of person Ferta is. He's probably going to talk to him about the whole situation with the first chapter. To his relationship to Dr. Kano. But also ghouls in general. Clowns. I, I sense that's going to be the big topic of discussion. And why, you know, Ferta right now is probably going to be leading, you know, CCG. I see that being the big topic of debate, and if it's not that, it's War Declaration. Talking about, you know, how they're going to be both going against each other. So, yeah, that's pretty fucking hype. I can't wait to see where Ashida takes that, but I need to go back to something that's really important real quick, okay? So, Akira, she is being healed right now, thanks to Bonjo. Let's talk about this for one second. What happens to humans that have an increase in RC cells inside them? I'm assuming since his Kaneki is healed, I mean, Kaneki, since his Kagane, his Kagane is healing Akira, I'm assuming he's using his RC cells to heal her. Now, what happens to humans having an increase in RC cells? ROS disease. What's happened to, you know, you know, we, we remember. We remember the introduction of ROS. So, when you think about everything, there's a possibility that maybe Akira might develop she might develop ROS because of this. Since he says he's never tried it before, he didn't even know he could fix a human or he's never tried it, this might mean that, you know, she might get an increase in RC cells, which might, you know, turn her into either, let's say, maybe a hackle or something, fuck her up and become something really weird, or develop ROS. Something like that might happen. So, that's the question we have right now. Anyways, though. In this chapter overall, that cliffhanger, holy fuck, I need more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you all feel about this week's chapter? You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.